Hello and welcome back to another story time um, that is all directed at Advent. And this is a wonderful book. Um, it is called The Nativity. The words come right from scripture, but it is illustrated in a beautiful way by Julie Vivas. And I wanted to share this with you tonight. When my boys were as young as some of you, we were given this book at Christmas time by a Presbyterian pastor. And um, we've remained friends for many, many years. But what's interesting about this book is the wonderful, wonderful illustrations. What you're gonna see in the paintings, kids, is uh, angels that land on sheep and um, people from Bible times that are wearing um, work boots. And um, it's just done in a beautiful way. So I hope that you'll look uh, next to my head for the scanned pictures of this wonderful book. Uh, I wanted you to be able to see those illustrations beautifully. And it tells a wonderful story of how Christ came into our lives. So this is the Nativity. In the days of Herod the king, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city of Nazareth to a virgin engaged or espoused to Joseph. And the angel said to her, Hail, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled. The angel said, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God, and thou shalt bring forth a son, and call his name Jesus. Here we see Mary's baby growing inside her over the next several months. Look how excited Mary seems to be. It came to pass that Caesar Augustus decreed that all the world should be taxed, everyone to his own city. So Joseph went from Nazareth to the city of Bethlehem with Mary, his wife, being great with child. But when they arrived in Bethlehem, many, many others had arrived too. All the hotels were filled, leaving many to find a place, just any place to sleep. Mary and Joseph had to sit and rest and think about what to do. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? All the people hanging from the trees. And so it was while they were there, the day came that she should be delivered. That means it was time for her to have the baby. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night, when lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said, Fear not, for I bring you tidings of great joy, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign. Ye shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. When the angels were gone, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go into Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass. Of course, the shepherds had to tell the sheep who were used to following them, Go home! And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And behold, there came wise men to Jerusalem saying, where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star and are come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it stood over where the young child was. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented to him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men then departed into their own country 
and the shepherds also returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen. And the child was called Jesus, which was so named by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. I hope you have enjoyed Julie uh, Vivas's paintings, and I hope that you enjoy all the other special storytellers as they share their Christmas and Advent stories on Sunday evening. It has been a joy to be with you tonight. I wish you all a wonderful Christmas. Don't forget the story. We may have fun ways of enjoying this time of the year, wonderful ways, and every one of our families enjoys them in a little different way. But today, I want you to remember also the words, that which was thought about and promised for many, many hundreds of years came true in Bethlehem. We'll see you soon.